What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and for today I'm going to put to the test five vintage wine bottle openers or coarse screws, whatever they called. They're very very unique from I don't know 50 to 100 years. Anyways, let's see what they're all about. Most of these things I got from eBay because they are so old you can't really find them anywhere but from other people selling them. And some of those bottle openers are very expensive, way over $100. So this one is about, I don't know, $20 or $16. It's a little fish. Looks amazing, doesn't it? When you expand it, looks like it's uh, just a bunch of bones. And when you close, look like a fish. Tail, beautiful. So anyways, I don't know how vintage it is, but definitely a vintage design. They might have remade them. Screw it on into the bottle. Just like a regular Costco bottle opener, you just twist it in, boom. And then what we're going to do, just hold it. Oh, there you go. Boom, wow, that's so cool. That was actually pretty cool. Let me try to do this once again. Just screw in into this cork, just like that. And then you want to pop it open like this. Boom. Very interesting. I love it. I love how it pops it open and then just closes it by itself. This looks like fish just eating that cork. Definitely going to impress my friends with this one. All right, let's see what else I got. This bottle opener is very unique and pretty expensive. I had to beat to get this one out for a while. Check this out. There's a little bottle opener and a corkscrew. Let me show you how they work together. Number one, we need to screw it on into the cork. And then you get this pliers. It goes into the bottle and I guess it slides in like this. Look at that, perfect fit. Now, now how? Oh wow, check this out. This is so unique and satisfying. I can't believe this bottle opener. Such a unique design. I wonder why they don't make them anymore. I would definitely buy it if it was new as well. Because it's so easy to open it. But at the same time, it looks really cool. Okay, let me do this one more time. You put in this corkscrew and screw it all the way in. goes in pretty easily and then this slides into the bottle and goes into the lower hole right here and then you just use it like pliers boom easy love it and then you can take it out and remove this cork for the next bottle opener it came in one of these bags this is the brand of it also very unique it's a needle operated and this right here air needle goes to and it's just like a little pump so let's see how it works this is very unique i love that there is a cover sits on it really well so that way you won't stab yourself what you're going to do is put the needle to the cork carefully without breaking it then what you're going to do is just hold it like this and pump it out Okay, for some reason it just doesn't work. Let me take it off. I can definitely hear the air pumping a lot. I don't know why it wouldn't open the cork. Maybe you need to pump it even longer. I don't know why, but for some reason it just does not work. It's definitely pushing the air inside there, but I don't know if it's actually working properly to where it's holding up the pressure. Maybe just slowly coming out instantly. But anyway, unfortunately it doesn't seem like it works. Maybe I'm using it on, but the idea of it, you push the air inside here and the pressure is supposed to pull out the cork. Maybe it just does not work, but it's definitely a really unique bottle opener. I like it a lot. Okay, for the next wine bottle opener, I got one of these things. Let me show it to you. It's very, very unique. Check this out. It doesn't even look like a corkscrew. 
it looks like this two little metal pieces what you're going to do is stick it between the cork and between this cork right here and you want to do it all the way down with a little bit of movement back and forth something like that you probably don't have to do it all the way down but I did and then you can just pull it up and turn like this that's a cheap cork that's for sure <laughs> boom and it pulls out the cork in the back it says it was made in West Germany and this is all the marking about this bottle opener definitely very unique wine bottle opener it's not a cork school and this is why I love it because it's one of a kind and for the last bottle opener this one is a vintage CO2 cottage bottle opener. Let's take it off. Boom, you put the CO2 cottage inside there, press it right here, and there's a needle. It's gonna release all the CO2, and it's supposed to push it all through into the bottle and pop the cork out. We'll see if it actually works. Okay, let's load it up and see what happens. We're gonna put it, I'm uh, pretty sure. We're gonna put it this way, screw it in, see what happens. I wonder if it's going to even work. You know what, for some reason it's not working. Let me put the needle, close up the needle. Ah! Woo! <laughs> I guess it does work. Woo! Do you hear it? So yeah, I wonder what happened, why did the needle didn't work, let's try this one more time, put it in like that and hopefully this time it's not going to pop on me for no reason and looks like there is air to come out in case something happens, so let me close it this time all the way, hopefully this time it works because I feel like the needle does not ever really work or something. Let me try to press it again. You know what? For some reason it doesn't work. It's probably because it's really, really old. But the idea is you're going to put it into the bottle like this and press it and the CO2 is supposed to come out. But for some reason it just does not work. Something is wrong with the needle. Because I'm pressing it all the way. Ah, too bad. I wish it did work. So, once again, if I open it, I can hear the CO2 wants to escape. It just doesn't go through the needle. So, I'm just gonna release it. Okay, I think my biggest mistake was tying this up way too much. So, I put it up a lot less. Let's put it to. Let me hold the bottle into some kind of. Okay, from my understanding, I think the cartridge was a little bit smaller. It just does not fit. I need to get vintage cartridges of it. Oh well. But it does make sense, right? You pop in the CO2 into the bottle right here and it's supposed to remove the cork from the pressure. It just, the cottage didn't really fit. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Sorry that two of the bottle openers fail. It's vintage, they're like 50, maybe 40 years old. Obviously something might have went on with them, but still, it's really cool how the first development of this CO2 bottle openers. Is this the first one? Who knows, maybe there were some other ones. But still, a really cool design, I like it. And this pump too, looks really nice. For some reason it just doesn't work but anyways uh, my favorite probably is this one this one was most expensive as well it was over a hundred dollars in case you're wondering all the engravings this is what it looks like and on the other side as well very good shape this one is so definitely keeping it in my collection. Anyways, let me know in comments below which bottle opener was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.